Hello, and welcome back to Accidentally Country. Do you know the average American household uses 100 gallons of water outdoors per day? A lot of that is for their gardens. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make a rain barrel where you can save money, water your garden, and do great things for the environment. Follow along. This is Accidentally Country. <laughs> So you want to make a rain barrel well the first thing you need is a trash can so i bought a 32 gallon trash can and i have a whole sole drill bit and i'm going to put all the items below in the description so you can follow along easily but the first thing you want to do is to drill a hole right near the bottom of the trash can that's going to be where your hose will come out So the next thing you'll want to get is a 3 4 inch bulkhead. You have to unscrew it first, and then you put this end into the trash can. It's a pretty tight fit, so you may have to wiggle it around. Well, there we go. It took a little bit of extra pressure, but got it in there. And then what you'll see on the other side is that it's sticking through, and then you want to tighten it with this on the other end. So we're already halfway done. So next we've got this brass hose bib valve and some seal tape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the seal tape and we're going to wrap it around this right here and then we'll just screw the valve in. This will help it not leak. So what I did next was I got some silicone sealant and I just put it all around here just to make sure that there, if there are any little openings, the water won't leak through. So I bought a shower drain here. It was like $3. It looks nice. Um, I'm going to install this right in here. But here's the thing. Do you really need this? If you really don't care about appearances for your rain barrel, get a drill, get a small drill bit and just drill holes all around the top of your lid. It will do the exact same thing. It'll save you three bucks. So there you have it, your very own rain barrel. Now, some people will install a spout either on the top or the side for overflow water, but if that's an issue for you, um, just drill a few small holes. It's not that big of a deal. One less thing you've got to install. So really the last thing this, this rain barrel needs is some rain. But the good thing is, storm is rolling in. Let's see how it works. So it's been a few days and we've gotten ourselves a pretty good bit of rainfall. So one thing I forgot to mention is when you do a rain barrel, you wanna make sure it's elevated above where you're going to be holding the hose. That's gonna cause a lot better pressure for you when you're watering your plants and your vegetables. Here, I just have a table set up uh, for a demonstration purposes. So what we will do first is let's see if the water is actually going to come out.
So if you noticed, once I had the hose plugged in, it actually, the water came out effectively, but it wasn't uh, the best pressure. And the reason why is all I had was a hundred foot hose. That's obviously the length of the hose is gonna take away a good bit of that water pressure. So I'd recommend starting with like a 25 foot hose, make sure you've got your rain barrel in the location that you want it, and it should produce really good free water for your vegetable garden. Now, if you're in an area where it rains frequently, then you've pretty much got yourself an endless supply of water if you've got a rain barrel like this. If you're closer to the home, I'd recommend exploring on YouTube from other channels how to do a rain barrel through your gutter system. It will collect even more water and be very accessible for your plants. Unfortunately, this garden is a few hundred yards from my home, so that's not gonna work for me. But I hope this rain barrel uh, is an idea that'll work for you. And thanks for following Accidentally Country. We'll see you next time.